I got to get into the studio with some real country producers. You know what I mean? Yeah. At Retro Blue uh, with 28 Canadian, uh, question for Riff. Um, Riff, are you going to make another country song like your track, Husky? Yeah, yeah. I ain't giving up my truck. Did you hear? That's out. That's out. But I got, I got, I'm working on a country album. Hell yeah. I'm working on, I got, I got, dude, I got so many songs. I, I'm working on like, I have the Cherry Trooper cover album that's coming out. I got a, um, uh, two different albums I'm working on with my band. One's the synth wave album and then the country album just barely started on, but I'm going to really go to Nashville and Texas and get, uh, get in, work in the, in the studio with, you got to get I, for that, that for country album, I'm, I'm, I got to get into the studio with some real country producers. You know what I mean? Yeah. The best it, the best. People think it's just uh, so easy. Oh, call Jason Aldean. Oh, just just get uh, Toby Keith on the phone. Oh, you know what? Why don't you just go knock on Carrie Underwood's door and and ask her to borrow a cup of bamboo? <laughs> <laughs> and while you're at it, make a song with it. Now you got it's the you got to get in there with the producers, like the you know what I mean, like the not famous, you know, the ones that are just country really, songs. Really, mind, just... mind bogglingly popular. Not to do you like a yeah, do you, have you done yeah. any country shows like festivals that are more like country leaning? I mean, I'm from Texas, you know what I mean? So yeah. I, I'll go to the rodeo and and the I mean, I if, if you go to a, a Garth Brooks concert or you know, uh, uh, George Strait or like I mean, dude, these it's they aren't talking, they aren't making TikToks and doing all the whatever is the is in the world, like that's a whole world of music that's that never stopped and it's not a phase and it's not something that's a trend or somebody just likes or uh, uh just because other people like it like people who are george Strait fans from the 80s they didn't forget about him because he didn't make a TikTok account yeah yeah you yeah. know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. it's real actual fans and that's different for, i feel than from the fans of today because i feel like ki uh, kids or i'm speaking really stereotypical and really in general right now but watch this though. If you if there's somebody who's popular amongst kids, and then something happens to where this artist quote unquote isn't famous anymore, well then half of the people leave. And then the other half that are still fans, then maybe they kind of listen to them. But it's more of a kids are like, well, who's popular? I'm, I, oh yeah, I like them too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Like the, 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 whereas like a, if you're a fan of country music, you don't give a flying fuck what the fuck people think because it, it, you don't care yeah. about that. Shit. Yeah. You, you I, believe I that autographs that are worth thousands. You're, you're, it, you're, you're still believing that the fact that you have George Strait's autograph, you got, you're holding on to like $1,500. Well, I have a Nolan Ryan rookie card that's probably, I don't know, 40 grand. I put a down payment on a barn though if I didn't care about that Nolan Ryan rookie card, but I do. You know, you, the bank manager would give you a, a Nolan Ryan um, um, mound charge for that card. Nolan Ryan was a tough son of a bitch. He, he was he was built like a uh, or truck, like a, a high school principal, but he'd fight like Mike Tyson. Yeah, he had a mean. He had a well, he could throw a hundred and two mile per hour fastball. It's true. So imagine that fist going at your face, one hundred two miles per hour. Let's do yeah, the math. He, I, I love watching Nolan Ryan f uh, fight. That's a, that's a fun day. It's like watching it's like watching your high school like your favorite high school history teacher like uh, whoop a drunk dad's at a little league game or something. Yeah, I remember when he he uh, got in a fight uh, beat up um, Robin Ventura. Yeah, and I liked Robin Ventura. He Robin Ventura was a, was a was a a star. Yeah, on the rise right now, and, and I mean, and he's still known, but we're here talking you, you about you bring that, that you bring that Nolan Ryan card into the into the credit union. I'm sure they're going to change their tune even more than they already did for you. Walk around with that thing on your neck, and you got you got uncles in an elevator eyeing you up, sizing you up, thinking about well, maybe I'll go, I'll have a go at it. And then his his wife is in some sandals, her back of her heels hanging off the back ledge, and she's like, "Don't you do it, Harold." He his mullet says, "Take it easy." Take it easy, Harold. And she's he's smart. Mar yeah. That's Margaritaville Mary. 
She's cunning. She knows. She, knows that she likes, her. yeah, Margaritaville Mary. She'll, she'll take you to Shreveport, New Orleans, Biloxi, all the casinos. She'll go on all the cruise, the cruise trips. The, the pedal pubs. She'll take you on yeah, a pedal we'll, pub down the street in Nashville. That, and then she'll go on those boats that the back end does this yep. to get through the water. The paddle? No, oh, it's just yeah, that yeah, yeah. big spinny revolver thing. Who um, spins that? Who spins <laughs> that? Is that coal? Is that running off coal? Or is there a bunch of folks in there who paid half price tickets and they don't realize every time they go back to their room, they got to get to pedaling. <laughs> oh, you want free drinks at the casino? Guess what's under the table? An hour pedals. of work. Rusty pedals. <laughs> <laughs> Some clip-ins. You're going to put your hey. clip-ins get to work for an hour because the, the half-price drinks come at a, a high cost. River, river me, boat, Riverboat Robin. Let me, let me get a triple shot le lemon drop and a, and a half can of WD-40 to work <laughs> on my rust pedals because <laughs> I'm clocking back in. <laughs> I'm, pl I'm planning on getting very drunk tonight, so I need to pedal for at least three hours underneath this table right now. Hey, I don't feel like working out. Can I have a couple of shots so I can feel like doing some pre-workout and then working out? You ever seen somebody get drunk and all of a sudden, here comes the push-ups? <laughs> <laughs> Just Car show off fit. Cartwheels, push-ups, and broken tables. <laughs> broken picnic tables. That's all Aunt Shelby's good for. She Shreveport comes Shelby. into town. Shreveport Shelby, she comes into town <laughs> wearing a leather jacket, hair all fluffed up, driving yeah. somebody driving some dude's Chevy Silverado that she's in an argument with and then got went out of town and he's looking for her around town. She's gone. A couple she's got, a couple hundred miles away. She comes waltzing into town, get brings in a six pack. Oh, great. You got, got drinks for you. What about us? By the time you get back from the corner store, she's breaking picnic tables. <laughs> Shelby. She's, she's, uh, she's, she's on the phone making an appointment for a new tit tat. She loves getting those midnight drunk tit tats. She's got, she's got four of them right next to each other, like little badges of honor. Back to back totem pole tats. <laughs> Aloha snack bar uh, with another chat. Riff, loved your art for over a decade. A few years back, you said to only do on rare occasions to celebrate that helped yeah. me kick that helped me kick a bad habit cheers chris nick and riff yeah hey, man. good advice great yes. man celebrate it. yeah it's got to be celebrate because I, I i had to think back and it's like if, if i was not well you know what yeah I'm, I'm just gonna for the public i'm gonna say yeah only if you're celebrating because if thing if things aren't so great and then well for me well Let's just say if you're celebrating, then it's, it's all right. But also, I mean, shit, if shit's the fan, sometimes you got to crank open a cool one. Yeah. <laughs> but you got to crack open a couple of cold beers. Alone but don't listen for... to me about it. Yeah, don't, shit. don't, but don't hurt yourself about it. Yeah. Listen, don't, don't be hard on yourself. The world's going to do that for you enough. Now, listen to me. It's time for you to. Get to doing push-ups. If you're gonna get drunk, might as well do some push-ups and break a picnic table. <laughs> cold beers might and warm well. tears, my man. That's uh. I think I just I think I just like maybe just like just diverged him from his path. Let's just stick to if you're celebrating, let's do that one. <laughs> that's that's better for the planet. Yeah. And that, when the sun turns light, everything else I said. He. he and this, I don't think this, it works the, like that. <laughs> He's gonna automatically do everything you say, man. Shit.